My name is Peter Stanford, uh, VK4GXC, and uh, one of my passions is restoring old valve radios, uh, and in particular military radical columns and uh, associated radio gear. Um, it's a bit of a passion. Um, what you're looking at here is a radical setup from about the 1960s. Uh, it comprises a number of separate units, a uh, synthesized unit which basically drives the second VFO of the main receiver, a single sideband adapter. Um, as the receivers of the 1960s were generally AM only, um, the single sideband adapter gave the capability of resolving the single sideband. Above that we have the VLF adapter, um, it's actually off right now. Um, it's, uh, it actually extends the range down to 10 kHz uh, in a number of bands, and I think that's a, a story for another day. And above that we have a very selective pre-selector. Uh, this will actually uh, produce a, a very large rejection to unwanted signals um, and sniffs out the, uh, the basic wanted carrier you need. Um, now I might just start by uh, tuning around and uh, having a look at what, uh, what we can hear this evening. So at the moment we're uh, on one particular channel, we will turn this to WWV, so we'll set all the, uh, all the decades to uh, zero, 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 and hopefully it will, it will lock up here. Okay, so we have the uh, synthesizer locked up at uh, the WW frequency in kilohertz, now we need to set the megahertz to 10. We will need to make sure we're on the 10 megahertz range, and we can roughly set it to 10 megahertz to start with. And also on board here, the receiver, we need to make sure the uh, WWB is there. So we've got the audio turned down at the moment, and I'll just uh, turn that up so you can see if there's any, any audio coming out. And indeed, up here, there's a little audio amplifier just out of shot, which has been driven by the, uh, the audio output. And what you can see on the right here, is a zero beat of the carrier of WWV. The whole system is fundamentally phase locked to the main synthesizer unit. However, the SSB adapter does have a three minute oscillator, which, which you could adjust around. I'll just show you just around. And in this particular case, you can zero, and there is zero beat it, you can see here going on. And uh, even, even locked to the signal. So once the messenger is within about 50 hertz of capture, you can lock to the uh, main carrier. And right now we're listening to the upper sideband of uh, WWV. And you can also listen to the lower sideband. The lower sideband. Upper sideband. And lower sideband. I'll just leave it in the upper sideband mode for a moment. So that's WWV, and uh, it's coming quite strong. It's just got half past seven here local time in Brisbane, Australia. So let's just take another listen around the band and see what else we can hear. Uh, one of my other favourite uh, test frequencies is the Brisbane Aeronautical, which is the 8867. So we've gone for 8 megahertz. Six. And seven. So we've got eight, six, seven, decimal zero. And eight megahertz feeding off the main top unit. Now, of course, we've drifted the, uh, well, we've changed the frequency, so we're out of the response of all the uh, selectors. So I'll just um, make sure we're on the right band. Eight, yes, we're there. So we'll bring it down. You can hear the background noise pick up. And we'll also hit the receiver as well. And um, just take the AFC off because it's such a hunting. So on upper sideband, these are independent audio output adjustments. The sideband, 8867, and we'll just have a listen to see if anybody pops up on frequency. And while we're waiting, I'd maybe take you through a few more details on the, uh, the units. Oops, this is too important, I'll show you until we hear someone. So the MA350 synthesizer unit is basically a decade preset synthesizer. Um, it's multi-loop, there's four actual synthesizers within here, all one cascaded into another, and the output is, of each of the oscillators, of synthesizers, is monitored, as is the main arc output. So we can actually identify, if there is a fault, uh, on out of lock, which of the modules internally could be, could be at fault. 
And that's fundamentally what we can do. We can just preset the frequency on this. Now, the outputs there are uh, the main adjust output. There is a 1 megahertz output, a 1 kilohertz output, a 1.7 megahertz output. All these are auxiliary outputs which allow the radical range of receivers to be phase locked or controlled, shall we say, uh, by frequency under the, uh, under the MA350. Now, above that is the SSB adapter. As we know, the receivers of this vintage really were primarily AM receivers. You can resolve some of the side end of the onboard BFO, but there's nothing like a product detector for giving uh, ultimate resolution. And in this particular case, it's a, uh, an RA121 SSB adapter. It comes with a, a beat oscillator here that you can beat to the carrier. Uh, again, uh, unsuppressed carriers were quite common some years ago, and you could actually zero beat to the carrier, lock to it, and then uh, have, a, have a list on the upper uh, side band. And there's even a facility here for extending it off. So here we go. Here's uh, the aircraft here, velocity. It's a Virgin Airways aircraft. I always find the, uh, yeah, the uh, copy three, three, zero. Okay. I always find the audio capture from the SSB on this uh, system very, very punchy and very uh, audible. Obviously intended for communications, not so much our broadcast environment. But uh, it's very clear and very concise, and of course, with the uh, stability of the synthesizer, you've got the best of high dynamic range receivers, with good noise floor, reasonably good filters, and frequency stability. Bear in mind that the, the frequency filters inside this particular unit, um, they are actually just an LC format. There's no uh, ceramic or, uh, or crystal filters. It's just an LC uh, filter of some probably about uh, 10 10 or 12 stages, so it's, it is a very high Q uh, narrow band filter. Now the RA117 has probably, uh, probably seen a few of these around. Uh, other people have described what they're all about on the, on the net. Uh, this is an RA17E. Um, it was originally in a, in a monetary capacity at one of the uh, UK sites. And uh, it, it's, it's a terrific performing receiver. Um, I did measure the, uh, the signal to noise at something like 21 dB um, a couple of years ago when it was on the bench. I don't think it's changed much since then. I've uh, not been using it awful lot. But it performs very, very well, as I might be saying. I'm, I'm very impressed with its, uh, its vintage and its performance. Uh, the audio is a little bit thin and tinny, um, but uh, I think that again is indicative of the, uh, the, the nature of why it was used in terms of the uh, the uh, communication side of things looks clear and crisp. Uh, 